hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can build your own personal code assistant running all locally and privately by using mistral's code stroll which is a 22 billion parameter first ever coding model from mistral plus we will be using olama that will enable you to run your code stroll model locally privately and then i will be using this continue extension for vs code editor which is also free and then we will use it as a code assistant so these three things combined will provide us our own code interpreter or code assistant let's get right into it let me take you to my local system which is very generously provided by our very good friends at mast compute so the gpu which i will be using to run the model the vm which i will be showing you shortly all have been sponsored by mast compute if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices with no lock-in contract very flexible offering then i would highly recommend them i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i will also give you a discount coupon which will give you 50 percent discount on some gpus which i will be using too so that you can easily use it and you will get further discount on that so highly recommend it let me take you to my local ubuntu's gui where we will be installing everything from scratch and then we will see how it all works so this is a linux client and i am using this ubuntu system where i have been uh, running a6000 nvidia rtx gpu with 48 gpu of vram so let's get right into it first up let me show you olama so i'm just clicking on the left hand terminal and then let me do olama list you see i don't have the code stall at the moment so let's get the code stall by running olama run code stall it is pulling the manifest it is downloading it the size is around 12 gig so let's wait for it to get installed it's a big model it's a 22 billion size of model so it is expected that you have this uh, 12 gb of size so the download speed is quite good today should be done any second and then once it is downloaded the model within the layer it is going to verify the checksum and then it is going to run it on our local system that is almost done it is verifying the checksum now okay, so the model is downloaded and ready to be used but i'm not going to use it here so let's exit from here and now again if you do olama list you see that we have now this code stroll running here okay good stuff let's clear the screen now as i said earlier that olama is here next thing you need is that we would be using the continue which is an extension and we will be using it with vs code so if you don't have it on linux or ubuntu system simply click on these nine dots show applications then here just use ubuntu software once you click on ubuntu software then on the very left top right hand side click on this mirror icon and search for vs code and then you can install it i already have installed it otherwise you will see just install button here click on it and you will get your vs code and then you can simply install it okay so but i'm not going to go here i'm just going to go here and then you can just type vs code and launch it just click here and it is going to launch the vs code awesome so you see the vs code here i already have selected i'm just going to go with this theme and you can make the window a bit bigger that will make it easier for us to use it let me make it slightly more bigger okay now on the left hand side in the vs code you see a lot of options so at the very end click on extensions here just simply you can either search for continue and it is going to show you the continue one so i believe this is the first one which we need just click here and then from here you can just click on install it is going to install it so let's wait for it to get installed and the continue extension is installed now now it is recommended that that on the left hand side this icon is of continue we just drag and drop it on the right hand side because it makes it easier to use it 
now we will be using a local models we are not going to use openai you can use a continue with openai too so just select the local models here it says llama 3 and all that stuff you can uh, use the no embedding this just click on continue and then it says download olama olama is already there sorry let me just quickly cancel this okay let's sometimes it does this so you see here download olama is connected and then it is saying that which model do you want to use and then it says okay let me it is just going on the local one i just need to put in the config and in order to get rid of that pop-up i just had to close the vs code and now i have reopened it and it seems it has gone now thankfully so after that uh, just click on this cog icon on the bottom right and then you see we have this um, config here just remove this config and then paste this okay sorry this is not the config this is just my uh, okay, let me grab the config and paste it here so this is a config which which we needed to paste so all we are doing it in this config we are specifying that the model is code stall for chatting and also for the tab auto completion we are using the code stall and provider provider is olama so that is done which is good and i have saved it let's close this one also close this and then we can just simply create a new file maybe and i'm just going to call it a new python file which i want to um, use is also asking me to create i'll just call it my test and i'm just going to save it here wherever that is doesn't matter i'll just also install the python because it is the first time i have installed the vs code so let's wait for it to get installed the python i mean the so python is installed and now let's see this in action on the bottom right you see code stall is already selected now just make highlight this code and you see there is a help available that if you do control l it is going to add it to the chat so let me do the control l here so you have done the control l you see it is here now you can chat with it you can ask what is or oh, yes sorry let me do it again i just let me do because i had pressed that uh back button okay now i'm just asking it what is this code doing it is running you see let's wait for it to come back and it's all running locally there you go so it says uh, python code defines the function called reverse list that takes an input as a as an argument exactly so this is if you read through it this is what this code is doing and then uh, if i'm working through it there's a lot of things you can do with this code editor uh, in this continue by the way for example you can use a tab to auto complete with the model so may, for example if i do print and then parenthesis starting and if i press tab you see it has given me this information how good is that looks really cool so everything is in one line another cool thing you can do you can even rewrite the code with it with the code stall and continue so just highlight it and if you do control i you see you can just say maybe um rewrite this code to reverse a list of alpha alphabet the center you see it has rewritten it how good is that amazing stuff and then you can simply accept it by clicking on accept and you have accepted it and now let's say you want to generate a documentation of this code for that um, there is a very uh, nifty feature all you need to do is to simply press Control capital i and then type at code base in small i guess and then just say what this function is doing press enter and then model is going to generate a documentation for you there you go and if you accept it all it is going to put that explanation here which you can 
maybe put in a comment so that you could it could go with your code and then you can even edit your code here uh, for example you just highlight it and then you press um, edit here or something like that or control uh, sorry in this chat box you can just simply say edit on the right hand side and say uh, make this code pythonic and then press enter and it is going to uh, or maybe you, you could just do control shift l or control shift and capital l and then it is going to take you into that and once you press enter you see that we just said that make this code pythonic and that it on the left hand side is our original one on the right hand side it's a new one so and the modified code uses the sorted function so if you accept all it is going to change your code so this is how easy it is to run your own coding assistant all local all private by using olama continue extension in vs code plus our um, code stall model from mistral that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching